Okay, out there guys, it's a hot Thursday here in Southern California. I'm trying to finish up this video. This is like a part two of the rough country lift on a 2018 Chevy Colorado, okay? To begin with, I put the basic kit in and I upgraded the shocks and springs later on. So in this video, I'm showing what you have as far as options go and what I went through to upgrade just the front struts because there are shocks or struts specifically made for these lift kits, all right? Every lift kit company offers their version, okay? It's a, just a longer shock. There's a couple of aftermarket versions like uh, BDS offers the Fox 2.5s. I had those on here. Um, but what I ended up doing is going back to the standard shock and putting on the spacer from BDS. With the spacer though, you got a whole lot more options because any factory shock will work on here now, okay? You don't need a big old long shock because the sus suspension travel in here is only about the width of my hand on the, the travel on the shock itself. So if you got a big old long shock, it don't make no difference. You're limited by the drive shafts or the axle shafts and tie rods. I mean, they only bend so far, so a bigger shock isn't really going to give you much more travel. They do make these shocks a little bigger for lifted vehicles, a little bigger. Like the shocks I got in there ended up using were the Coney Raids. I, had it, I saw these in Australia. I inquired and I had to import them from Europe. They're made longer for a lifted Colorado. The Australian Colorado okay uh, so they worked out great I've had them on for over a year now I've also got custom springs on there I went with the 700 pound springs only because of these big bumpers and the weight I carry and uh, I went to Chevy Performance and Chevy Performance recommends 650 to 700 pound springs so I said okay let's go with the 700 pounders and they worked out great the Coney struts are adjustable. You can adjust the rebound control, the rebound valving on them. That's kind of cool. They've got internal bump stops on compression and extension. It's actually called uh, hydraulic lockout. I think it's on extension, but, uh, and uh, yeah, as far as that goes, with the BDS spacer, you can run anything. You can run bill steams, you can run factory replacements, you can run 5100s, you can run iBox, you can uh, just look it up. You can run stock Monroe's, you can run the stock Delco shocks or struts. There's so much more options on there of what you're looking for. I got the Coney's because I wanted to try something different. And so far, everything's working out. So stay tuned. I'm trying to finish up this video. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like when I got it to, all together. Um, the front bumper needs to be trimmed if you plan on using a factory bumper and uh, 35 inch tires. My plan is to replace the bumper, so I just took it off. I didn't want to cut it up because um, I was able to actually sell it. I sold it to a guy later on. Also. I use the stock front coils and shocks with those uh, shock extenders and in the rear the kit comes with uh, gas shocks they're longer gas shocks to accommodate the six inch lift so it's a uh, rear gas shocks and lift blocks that was about it that's all it takes in the rear so eventually I'm gonna upgrade the front struts the coils and the rear springs, but that's down the line. So who said this wasn't gonna work? Okay guys, here's a look at the Rough Country kit. Now this kit here comes with the extended struts you see them there on the front or I mean the bottom okay with the coils there those are the extended struts you need the longer struts 
To accommodate the 6 inch lift in the front, you need longer shocks in the rear. Uh, in the rear, it just uses long U-bolts uh, and lift blocks, okay? Now my kit, I got the cheaper kit where it uses uh, strut extenders, okay? So I used my factory coils and I used the factory struts. This is the strut extender that comes with the Rough Country kit. Okay, it's a pretty heavy piece of uh, piece of uh, suspension kit here. Now, instead of running a spacer kit on the top of the strut, so here's the strut right here. Typically, most kits run a spacer kit on the top here, it goes in between this top plate and the frame. These extend from the bottom. And uh, basically, the strut slides in there. The bottom, the bottom right here, they give you these aluminum bushings. You got change those out. You take the rubber ones out, you put these in, then you slide it in there. Slide the bottom through that bolt. Tighten everything up, and there's your new mounting location there. So that extends it. So that'll sit inside there like that. So it's held in there by the bolt, just like the factory, but it also has this clamp here to steady it up on the tube. Okay. Pretty heavy, well made stuff. Okay guys, so if you don't go with a strut spacer or the extender, this is the way you gotta go. You gotta go with these extended struts. These are specific for the lift kit, no matter whether it's BDS, Zone, Rough Country, there's just a picture of the Rough Country struts for this six inch lift. Okay, they gotta be longer. Uh, saying that, there's not a whole lot of options out there if you wanna run something else. Because you got it, they got to be specifically made for that lift kit. They got to be so long, and you're not going to find replacements for this at the auto parts store. You know, you got to either go to one lift kit company or another, or you can go to something specialty like a BDS Fox make a uh, coil over specific for the BDS lift kit, and that's what I got on mine. Uh, but those were what uh, I think sixteen hundred dollars. The Fox coilovers came in. Yeah, these are the two point five reservoir shock or coilover for a twenty fifteen to twenty eighteen Chevy Colorado with a six inch lift. Now these don't give you a six inch lift. They are just longer for the six inch lift kit because with the rough country six inch lift or the BDS or any of those six inch lifts, you're lowering half of the front suspension. The lower control arms, the differential, all that drops down approximately six inches. So you gotta have something longer. Now you could run a, a strut spacer or like this kit comes with, strut extenders on the bottom. That's what I have on there right now. But this, you don't need the extenders or the spacers. This is actually long enough for the six inch kit. This will not fit on a stock Colorado because the suspension hasn't been modified. It's too long, they won't fit in there. So don't, don't think this is a lift kit. This is not a lift kit, okay? And these are 2.5 because it's a 2.5 diameter body on here, okay? Now these are only about $800 each. Way more than I wanted to spend, double what I wanted to spend. I was gonna go with the 2.0s without the reservoir. I think this is, you know, th this reservoir stuff comes out of uh, racing applications where the shocks get really hot, where they get run really, really brutal, you know? But they didn't have the 2.0s for this lift kit, so. Next alternative. This better be uh, like a, gee, there better be some kind of magic in these things for $1,600, you know? Okay, guys, I wasn't very happy with those uh, $1,600 coilovers, and uh, 
So I had to make a video on it, right? Yeah, so here we are in action. And this is nothing, this is not high speed driving or nothing, but look how much the front end bounces. Here's the uh, slow motion uh, effect here. But okay, we're just going off a little drop off into the wash here. Look at that. Boing, boing. Way too soft for me. Um, I. They, they just were terrible off-road and when I contacted Fox and BDS about that uh, You know, they offered no solution no remedy Okay guys after going through this I was looking for replacements and I Got a whole lot more options if you run these strut spacers So I went to BDS and I ordered this spacer right here That's BDS 5.5 strut spacer for their lift kit. With that, you can use standard shocks. Okay, so I'm using, uh, I'm, I'm installing these conies here. These are made for any Zuzu D Max and the Australian Holden, uh, the Holden Colorado in Australia, the Australian Colorado. Perfect fit. Uh, what I'm having to use is the BDS uh, strut spacer, okay? Because this is a Rough Country kit, and Rough Country uses a strut extender that goes on the bottom and extends this bolt up so everything moves up. BDS uses this spacer here that brings the top plate down, and uh, that'll work fine. Uh, the Rough Country strut extenders would not fit on this this uh, coney and the tube, the tube size is different. So I'm gonna make it work. Everything's looking pretty good. If you look at the shaft, how much shaft is exposed there compared to my hand, you know, it's about a hand's width. Let's go look at the high dollar foxes over here. These were these were $800 a piece. And although it's a big monster of a shock, it's only got that much travel. Look, same thing. Approximately, you know, it could be a hair bigger or smaller, but uh, Yeah, so all this just a longer tube. I guess is how they made these things work I've seen some other ones and they put a longer shaft on the bottom I think this longer, but Those are coming out so Let's try something else. I already went through a set of uh, ranchos on here Let's try some conies made for the Australian Outback Okay, out there guys, so uh, How did the conies work out? The conies worked out great They were six hundred dollars from uh, Germany, okay, and uh, The springs I got a great deal on the springs. I think they were only like eighty eighty four dollars or eighty six dollars from uh, pack racing I had to specify the length and all that and how many pounds and the diameter but uh, you it's all a learning process. I got the right ones. So. Um, the only issue I have had with them is that I need lower bushings replaced. The lower bushings did not hold up. And uh, I'm trying to get some bushings. Now they don't sell these here in the United States or North America, so I had to go to Europe to get them. And uh, I got them from a place in the UK, yeah, the United Kingdom. Uh, it's called Lark Speed or Speed. Yeah, Lark Speed. It's like it's like a speed shop a Coney dealer uh, I got a hold of them and they're more than help, happy to help me out. So I appreciate that Rob. I Thought I'd give you a plug out there They're on their way. Yeah, it's gonna take a couple of weeks, but yeah, they're on their way but uh, I got this the other day in the mail and I got I wasn't expecting anything or hey, maybe maybe these are my my bushings, right? So I'm like, hey, what is this? What is this? Some kind of muffler tailpipe? Oh no, it's a can cooler. Aha! Somebody sent me this. Uh, yeah. 
YouTube subscriber out there sent me this and it just says a for your desert travels a YouTube fan from BC doesn't say who insulated can cooler for 12 ounce standard can double wall stainless steel it even comes with a stainless steel straw hmm a straw well anyway yeah so I appreciate that whoever sent me this because this is a really useful thing you know this is great this is this is super sharp I'm gonna try to find out who you are and I'll send you something in appreciation oh look at that yeah as a thank you yeah I'll send you a couple stickers or something um, yeah so hey this is this is very useful a thoughtful gift you know it's not like getting a pair of socks for Christmas right I can actually use this stuff all right stay tuned for the next video because there's a whole lot more to do on this truck if you notice in the video the pictures I've got the tie rods the tie rods look different yeah those are tie rod sleeves from Merchant Automotive 